Hello everyone, I am Surendra Jain, Master Teacher in Vedantu. I am presenting you the solutions of J Advanced 2019. This is question number 6 from paper 2. From the topic definite integration, subtopic is integration as limit of sum. One very important topic for J Advanced. We every year see questions on this topic in the in the subtopic and also J has been asking some indirect questions also on this topic. Let us see what this question is. For A belongs to R mod a greater than 1 let limit n approaches to infinite then there is a series in numerator upon n raised to the power 7 by 3 into a series in denominator also equal to 54 then possible values of a is r options are minus 9 minus 6 7 or 8 let us see how to solve this question before we solve this question first let me tell you the underlying uh, concept or formula required to solve this question and it is that limit n approaches to infinite 1 upon n sigma f of r upon n where limit of r is varying from a times n to b times n can be written directly as definite integration a to b fx dx okay now how to use this thing in this question we can write this given thing as limit n approaches to infinite sigma of r raised to the power 1 upon 3 in numerator where r is varying from 1 to n whole divided by n raised to the power 7 upon 3 then sigma 1 upon a into n plus r whole square and here also r is varying from 1 till n now if i simplify these terms we can write them as in the numerator 1 upon n sigma r upon n whole raised to the power 1 upon 3 limit of r is from 1 to n upon this can also be written as 1 upon n sigma 1 upon a plus r upon n whole square you can check how these powers of n has been redistributed but they will be same you can check now as i was telling you uh, in this uh, that this result or this concept to be used here you can see this numerator becomes equal to 0 to 1 x power 1 upon 3 dx in denominator it becomes 0 to 1 1 upon a plus x whole square dx okay because r upon n will be written as x as r is equal to 1 this r upon n will tend to 0 as n is approaching to infinity and when r is equal to n r upon n will be equal to 1 so i think from there we can write it directly now this integration of numerator is very easy to solve x raised to the power 4 upon 3 upon 4 upon 3 whole divided by this will be minus 1 upon a plus x limits for both of them numerator and denominators they are 0 to 1 0 to 1 so we get in the numerator to be 3 upon 4 Whereas in the denominator, it will be minus 1 upon a plus 1 minus minus plus 1 upon a. And this value to us is given as 54. So we will equate this to be equal to 54. Now you can write this as 1 upon a minus 1 upon a plus 1 is equal to after calculation it comes out to be 72. It will be 3 upon 4 upon 54. So it will be 1 upon 72, not 72. It will be 1 upon 72. Okay. So if you take LCM, we get 1 upon A into A plus 1 is equal to 1 upon 72. So A into A plus 1 is equal to 72. So this after solving a quadratic gives you two values, either A equal to 8 or A equal to minus 9. So two answers are possible. Let me tell you in 2013 exactly similar question was asked 
and there also after solving a quadratic we were get, we were getting two answers but one of the answer was to be ruled out because of some domain problem so let us here also see if 8 and minus 9 they can both be possible or not i think in numerator if i put a as 8 or my or minus 9 answer will remain same there is no problem regarding any domain so answer will be a or d so the answers are a and d so this completes my solution of this question i hope you like this solution thank you everyone thank you so much stay tuned for more questions bye